The first part is just straight block chords with the melody on top. So that's just a straight kind of chord melody. There's the C with a melody on top. And then a G with a D note on top. Back to your C. And if you feel like it, you can strum those chords a couple of times in there. And we're going to finger our F chord like that because the F is up in this position. And so if you know your uh, all chords in all positions, you've got this F shape here. And the next position uh, looks like a little D chord up there. So it's halfway between this position and that one. So it's using uh, this part that was with the third finger in this position, and then the two ends of the D position. So halfway between the F position and the D position, we have this, leaving out that second string. So we could finger the whole thing, but if we elect to just not play the second string, we can finger it much more easily there by leaving that middle finger out of the chord. And then we're back to C with the pinky on top. All the rest of the melody notes are right there. D with the pinky on the second string. There we're just going to shinny underneath, one fret underneath to the C sharp and back. A little E. So those are all right, the melody is right there in the chords. So up, up, up to the both parts of a C chord. This is part of a G chord, but with the fifth string in the bass. Up to the G again, or up to the F chord again. C. Back to the C, A minor, so that's part of that G chord with a B in the bass. You can al almost think of that like an, like an E minor 7th shape, although part of the G chord. Quick an E, put the pinky down like an E 7th, A minor, F, G, and back to C. Now we'll add that alternating bass back and forth. So uh, on the C chord, we'll just alternate simply between the fifth and the fourth string back and forth. So we've got the fifth and the second string at the same time on the C. And then the next melody comes in together with the fourth string, right? Just lift that finger off and put it back down. First string. Great, that's right in there. And then to a G chord, you don't really need the fifth string. So the only two notes you need to finger are the second string and the sixth string, both on the third fret. So there, everything is right there except for that one note underneath it, the second string, second fret. So that's a little dissonance. And that can be fing fingered uh, a couple of different ways since you have some flexibility. Just as long as you can keep those bass notes down, get to that C sharp note in the melody. And C. Add the pinky. Everything's right there for you. Now here's that F chord. Very nice chord for when you're finger picking. Just slide that pinky up and drop into this, our new favorite F position. And the thumb is just going to alternate back and forth between the fourth and the third string. So that third string, play all those with a thumb. That's what gives it the pulse, playing it with a thumb instead of with a finger. So the only thing played with the finger is the melody note. And again, and back to your C. A minor, everything's right there. A G, G seventh with a B in the bass, but um, you can just play these two. It, lo it looks kind of like almost like an E minor position because all you really need is the fifth string, second fret, and your melody note, which is a D here. Tuck into 
underneath it here. So it just stays right there. And then on this last part, you can stay right there on the G chord or you can go to the E, open E, and then go to the F chord. I'm grabbing that as a bar and then, okay, and then release the bar to get the melody note or you can use the thumb over and then release the fingers here. So either way will work. And then five and four, going back and forth. Then that little tag again, we go back to the F. So here I'm going back and forth between the fifth and third string or the fifth and fourth. And go back to this position, the G with a D in the top melody and a B in the bass. And then up to the F again, C, back to F. C with the pinky on the top, A minor, all your melodies are, notes are right in the chord, and our favorite uh, new G chord with the B in the bass. Grab that full G for a moment, and got that E chord, not a whole lot of notes that we play out of that, but it's easier just to grab that, that full E seventh drop down to the A minor. The F chord, you've got the melody right on the third string up there. Same thing with the G, melody on the third string, then melody on the second string, back to C, 